Hello everyone, this is Brian Lagunas, and this is part four in a multi-part series on building the IG Outlook Prism application. In part three, we saw how to create a module and add it to a module catalog. In this video, we're going to create our custom region adapters for the XAM ribbon and the XAM Outlook bar controls. In part three, we ended the video by finishing our module catalog and returning it from the create module catalog method. So now what's going to happen is I'm going to run this application and the expectation is, is that, hey, we should have a view get injected into the Outlook bar region, right? Well, let's run this and see what happens. Oh man, we have an exception. What's going on here? Well, it's saying it's having a problem with a ribbon tab region. Ribbon tab region. You know what? I know what that is. If we go to our shell, you remember those regions we created? Well, Prism only provides a handful of region adapters out of the box for you. One of those would be content control, items control, uh, things like that. Prism doesn't provide us with region adapters for the XAM ribbon or Outlook bar. So we're gonna go ahead and create a custom region adapter for our XAM ribbon and for our Outlook bar. So let's start with the Outlook bar. Let's go into our infrastructure class, Silverlight. We'll go ahead and right click on the Prism folder and we're gonna add a new class. I'm gonna call this the XAM Outlook bar region adapter. Now this class needs to derive from region adapter base of T. T being the control which we're going to adapt. In this case, the XAM Outlook bar. Add a using statement there. Now we need to add the references for the XAM Outlook bar control. So let's go ahead and add a reference. It's a .NET reference to the Infragistics dot silverlight five menus dot outlook bar and you know we know we're gonna do in a ribbon so we might as well grab the ribbon and then we need the shared library there go ahead add our using statement now we'll implement our abstract methods here we have an adapt and a create region Create region basically says, what kind of region is this? Is this a single region that will only contain one view, like a content control, or is this gonna have multiple views in it? In our case, the Outlook bar is going to have multiple views in it, multiple groups. So we're going to return a new all active region. Now the next thing to do is to handle the adapt. This is the code that's going to take our region, our region target, and we're gonna start uh, adapting the control to accept these views. So we're simply gonna say region dot active views dot collection changed. Now we're gonna do a little switch statement here. You can do an if if you want, a switch this works fine. We say if the switch action case, if we're adding then for each alloc bar group group in new items region target dot groups dot add group
All right, so basically, whenever a new view is being added, we're going to loop through all the new items, and we're going to add that group to the region target, which is our XAM Outlook bar groups collection. Pretty simple. Same thing for removing. So we'll case, remove. Now we'll simply say for each. For each group and the new items, I'm going to take the region target, groups collection, and you guessed it, instead of adding, we're going to remove the group. And it looks like I forgot my break up here. Looking at this, I see I need uh, parentheses here. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a constructor. Now this constructor takes an I region behavior factory and you need to pass it to the base class like so. So if I build this, make sure I don't have any compilation errors. Next thing we want to do is go to our WPF project. And you guessed it, we're going to add, make sure we're in Silverlight, Infrastructure, Prism. We're going to add a link to the region adapter we just created. Build the WPF version. We didn't add the references to our Infragistics controls for WPF, so let's do that. We need bar. We're going to go with 12.1. We need the ribbon and our base library. Build our WPF app. <clears throat> so what's happening here is we are trying to use an Outlook bar control that are in different namespaces. So what we have to do we have to do our little trick with our compiler directive. So we're going to go if Silverlight, we're going to use the using menus. Else, we're using bar. There, now we build. That's because we're sharing the code across multiple platforms. Namespaces are different. So now I'll open this up in WPF and I see that my using is correct. So we're not quite done yet. Now we have to let Prism know about our new custom region adapters. In order to do this, we need to go into our bootstrapper in the shell project. Let me make sure I have this open in the Silverlight side. What we want to do now is override a method called configure region adapter mappings. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a region adapter mappings class, call it mappings, and set it to the base method call. Because this is going to give us all the default mappings already created by Prism for us. Now what we want to do is add a mapping for our custom one. So in order to do this, we're going to say mappings.registerMapping 
type of, which is the control type. In this case, it's the XAM Outlook bar. And then the adapter. It's going to be container dot resolve our XAM Outlook bar region adapter. This is an infrastructure dot prism. Okay. So now what I need to do is I need to go do this for the ribbon as well. Okay, so I went ahead and added a XAM ribbon region adapter for the Infragistics XAM ribbon. Uh, it's very similar to the, the way we did the Outlook bar region. We're just uh, listening for the collection changed action of add, and we're adding the views to the region and we're removing views from regions. Now I haven't implemented the add or the remove yet, because we're gonna be handling the navigation for tap navigation a, a little different later on in this series. But I just wanted to be able to run and compile, so we just kind of stubbed one out. I modified the bootstrapper to register the mapping for the XAM ribbon to our XAM ribbon region adapter, and I had to make some modifications to our using statements using compiler directives to get it to build. So now what we have is when we run this, so let's go ahead and set this as the startup project. We'll hit F5. So now when I run this, we can see that our mail group from the mail module is being injected into the region on the left-hand side. So let me just pull this over to the side here. Let's go ahead and open up the .pf version. We're gonna run this, start a new instance. We can see that this module is also being injected. But you notice something. Unlike the Silverlight version where the group is already selected for you, this one's not. So let's go fix that. Let's go to our Outlook Bar region adapter. I'm going to go to the adapt. And just after we add, I'm going to put some code in here. Basically, the WPF version doesn't automatically select the first group in its collection. So we're just gonna check if the groups, if the first group in the collection equals the current group being added, then go ahead and select it. Okay, so now when we run the WPF version, the mail group will be selected when it's loaded initially. That does it for part four in this series. In this video, we saw how to create a custom region adapter for the Infragistics XAM Outlook Bar and XAM Ribbon controls. In uh, the upcoming videos, we're gonna start getting into uh, implementing model view, view model, uh, MVVM, as well as implementing navigation and injecting ribbon tabs. So I hope to see you in the next videos.